How's it going, folks? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. Welcome to Final Cut Friday for August 30th, 2019. On this week's episode, we're going to talk about removing items, removing clips from your project timeline in Final Cut Pro. Of course, a lot of times when you're editing videos, there is addition by subtraction, meaning that by removing clips from your timeline, you're actually enhancing the overall final product. And um, a lot of times that can be difficult, especially if there's a clip that you really like, but ultimately you decide, hey, this video would be better without that clip. But here's a tip that I often use when editing videos and when I'm encountering this very scenario. I like to actually save the clips that I remove. Maybe I have a clip that looks really good, but it doesn't quite fit with the video that I'm working on. I like to actually save that clip before I remove it from the project timeline so I can always access it later. Now, of course, you can always go into the browser and find the exact in and out points for that clip, but it will be so much easier if you saved the in and out points from that clip to a keyword for easy access later. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So let's head over to the desk. I'm gonna show you one example of how I do this and why it may be beneficial for your particular workflow. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, so here's a video that I worked on a few weeks ago for the upcoming Apple Arcade service that Apple's launching this fall. So I've cut together this video in the project timeline. You can see I have numerous clips in, in the timeline and I'm trying to see and check to make sure everything flows well as I browse through the timeline. And I've stumbled upon this clip right here of this Blackmagic eGPU Pro. So you see the shot there and then I have another shot right here. So I like this clip, but I'm not quite sure if I wanna keep it in the video. So I delete the clip so the clip's gone, but what if I later decide that, hey, I actually like that clip and I wish I would have kept it? Well, actually there's a really easy solution to that. So before deleting, what you wanna do is right click on the clip and select reveal in browser. This will showcase the clip in the browser with the exact in and out point selected for you. So you can see right here, the in and out points are already selected for that clip. So now it's just a matter of adding a keyword to that range that you have selected for that particular clip. So to do that, you press Command plus K on your keyboard to bring up the keyword editor. And then you simply type in a keyword related to the clip. So in this case, I'm gonna type in box shot for Blackmagic eGPU Pro, then close out of the keyword editor. So now I can remove that clip from the timeline and be completely confident that I can find the clip later if I need to. So I'm gonna actually select a new in and out range for this clip just to make sure we delete any reference to the prior clip so I can illustrate how easy it is to find these clips that we set keywords for. So all you need to do is click the disclosure triangle next to the name of the event and there you will see the keywords for the clips that you saved. So box shot for Blackmagic eGPU Pro, I click on that and there's the exact range for that clip so I can add it back to my project timeline just by dragging and dropping just like that. And from there, you can add back any effects that you want to add to that particular clip. And as you can see, it's super simple and super easy. So ladies and gentlemen, that is indeed a very simple but effective tip that I often use in my video editing workflow. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section and stay tuned next week for another episode of Final Cut Friday. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.